You are watching the biggest, the largest, the highest, the greatest, and the tallest African spiritual platform. I welcome you. I'm always Queen Hadasha. Call me Empress Makida. I am Labraska the Sun Goddess. Call me the Spear of Destiny. I am a woman of peace. Today is a great day. A female guest is on set. You know, me be a bear. Come, 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 come. Yeah, quite what discuss a very important topic. Free thoughts as a tool to change development. Eh, eh, Mijidi say, eh, free thoughts. Ah, then, or pastor say, eti kuru me enyu yana. Eh, yabe yishwe yishwe ni yine mu. These are things that we are going to discuss today. I love you, love you, love you, love you with lots, lots of love. I welcome you people. Let's welcome our guest for today. Uh, Madam, we welcome you to Revelations. Thank you very Great. much. Great. Today is your first time on my set. Yes. So please kindly pay obeisance to my followers, my subscribers, and introduce yourself to us. Okay. My name is Rosalind Mould. I'm a human rights activist. I am on the board of several organizations. I'm the first African woman to be um, vice president of Humanist International. I am the former president of the Humanist Association of Ghana. Mm. I'm the president of Accra Atheists. I am a member, a board member on Freedom of Religion and Belief Leadership Network from the UK. I am also a board member on LGBT Plus Rights Ghana, which huh? is <laughs> What's the way idea? LGBT Plus Rights Ghana. I'm okay, a board, one of the board members on mm -hmm. there that helps to deal with violence and discrimination issues against LGBT people. Yes. Welcome. Thank you. LGBT. Yes. So yeah. right now, what are you doing about it? Yes, of course, we have a bill that is coming that seeks to jail anybody that says that we are against violence and discrimination against fellow Ghanaians. As a consent citizen, as a Ghanaian, I'm against the bill because this is detrimental to any Ghanaian. It's not only LGBT people. If you read the bill clause for clause, and that's why a lot of people have come out, including academics, scholars, um, legal practitioners, the international community is appalled by Ghana's decision, Ghana's parliament's decision so far. And of course, we are continuing to fight it, that the president will see reason and think free from dogma, use his free thought to come to a more logical hey, oh, president, conclusion. Dogma. Yes. Hey, mommy, love you. <laughs> What, uh, what are some of the bills? Five things that worry you about the bill. Oh, wow. For mm -hmm. me, I mean, some people say some aspect of the bill uh, is their problem. For me, the entire bill, and I sent a personal memo to Parliament when they requested for it to the uh, Constitution, sorry, the Committee for Legal Constitutional Issues of Parliament. I just sent on every single clause and my problem with it. From the basic one, um, one of the first ones is duty to report. So I've never heard of such a law in any way, even in our constitution or criminal code, where it forces every Ghanaian, it forces every Ghanaian, it makes it mandatory that anybody, you should be going around pointing people who you think are gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, or just different, that you don't understand. You just go to the police station and report anybody, whether your own father, mother, brother, sister, throw them out of the house. There is a part, another clause that says that you shouldn't keep anybody that you suspect. The person might not even be, but anybody that you suspect. And this also includes allies, that are people who are heterosexual, who are not LGBT people. But they don't think that we should sit aside and let bad things happen to fellow Ghanaians just for no reason, no very good reason. And so such heterosexuals as well are at risk. You could be at home and somebody will come and throw you out. Your landlord, your landlady has a right to throw you out. You can't be on any premises, which means even if you go to hospital, somebody can go and say that, oh, I know this person uh, supports the LGBT community. They can have you arrested and thrown in jail for three to five years um, just for going to school. It's a premises when you are on the campus. You can be thrown out. Such a law, I mean, even armed robbers don't have to go through that. And they are criminals. They are hurting people. They are taking property from people. They are not even being told that you should go around pointing armed robbers. So why should we have such a clause in the bill? Part of the bill is also, I mean, basically it's going to say that um, we cannot have associations. Now this is a very marginalized community 
where people are being violent against the community. We have vigilante groups that go around beating up people just because they think, yes, we, we deal with these cases on a day-to-day -day basis, including sometimes our own policemen who are even or women and women who are supposed to help protect and serve us as Ghanaians. If you go with your problem that you have been raped as a lesbian, sometimes some men gather around and gang rape um, lesbians with the idea that they will turn you to be. Are you serious? Yes, we go through a lot, but the media never covers these issues. You will find the videos, mostly we find the videos on social media and then through contacts, we are able to find out where the victim is because most of these victims cannot report it to the police. So we are left with these organizations and associations who will either go and report or so hold your hand and take you to the police to make sure that your case is being heard fairly. Or, and if it has to go to court, then we are able to get the perpetrators of these violent acts um, you know, to book and are prosecuted. There's a lot of blackmail that goes on in a community. You would think, oh, I just met somebody, he says he wants me as a friend. I'm just meeting him here. Then you just get ambushed and beaten up. They steal your momo, they steal your, your uh, debit cards. They, you know, film you naked. They put it, to, it's all over social media. For because any Ghanaian, oh yes. Yeah, lesbianism, being gay, and most of the time, I mean, it's not every time that you can tell, because it's not written on anyone's face, what your sexuality is. And most of them, of course, they want to do it privately, but thinking that you are going to meet somebody privately, and you having your video put on the internet, stripped naked, beaten up, robbed, your phone, your ev like everything, and even threatened that they are going to expose you to your family or your friends or your workplace. Before like the that. bill or it was there? This is what we have been going through already. Before the bill? Yes. A after the bill? No, before the bill, but since the bill, because of pronouncements from even our influential people, religious leaders, uh, politicians, um, name it. It has made the number of uh, cases increase to the extent where we are even overwhelmed. And this bill is saying that these associations or groups like LGBT plus rights, that has been helping. In fact, we were the ones that went to set up the office advocacy center. Yes. <laughs> Omo and Bubuno, a rented space in T. Omo threatening, so being finding out where the because police and some of them you know what we didn't publicize the location, but out of um, Crawford to say for Amwanini, way more Omo Kase, you know they were spilling a lot of lies and propaganda actually on the, on, the, on the media and forcing people to I am Shishena or be Eko Kase, Oni Bebiya if anyone or share pictures now, dear dear, ena. It was just documents and things that were lying there. And of course, paraphernalia to show that this is an LGBT safe space for victims and survivors of violent and discriminatory acts. Hmm, this is worrying, you know, Abusia. The bill, the threat, the beating, does it actually stop the act? When I say Ebisa, this thing, you know, do we have many people in Ghana doing this who are in this mm -hmm. act? Okay, so what I'll say is that a lot of people don't have a full understanding of what um, homosexuality is. Basically, it's a sexual orientation, like heterosexuality, right? But it's always in a minority of every population. It's always been with us as human beings from time immemorial. So it's not something that somebody wants to do. It's like you don't choose to say, I'm attracted as a woman to a man. Nobody t can teach you to be attracted. You are naturally that. Because that's your to what you are attracting. That's it. So that's your sexual orientation. Whether you are going to act on that orientation or not, it's a personal issue, especially if you are an adult. Um, of course, we don't want children being involved in um, sexual acts, whether heterosexual children or homosexual children. We think that they should be educated about it so that they prevent themselves from being taken advantage of or getting into or making the right, wrong decisions. But when it comes to an adult, um, and mind you, just like you know from your childhood that you are heterosexual, it's the same way they also know from childhood. There are children that know that they are not heterosexual. 
that they are lesbian, they are So it's not something like, oh, I want to try this. It's not something you choose for yourself. So to say that you're going to make a bill to criminalize people for just being who they are, and they're like there are heterosexuals that don't have sex every day. Of course, there are homosexuals too that don't have sex. Some of them are even also virgin. You know, it's normal. You can't look at somebody and tell what kind of sexuality they are. There are heterosexuals who are not crazy about no, sex, tell sex us, and all when that. When they say gayism or lesbianism, mm -hmm. what exactly is it? Okay, there's nothing like gayism, it's homosexuality. Um, so uh, homosexuality is a man being attracted to a man of the same sex. And a, a lesbian is um, a woman being attracted to a woman. A bisexual is a person who is attracted to either the same sex or the opposite sex. They can be attracted to any one of them. A transgender person is somebody who identifies differently from their biologically uh, biological makeup so you can have a man who has always felt like a woman but hasn't been able to express himself inwardly mm. and nobody can tell these things unless uh, psychiatrists and so on are able to evaluate them to see that oh yes yes it's true this person is actually a woman so they don't just do things out of you know feelings or something like that they are, most of them are evaluated especially if they are going to transition and pay for the sexual um, trans, uh, transition surgeries so that they can be the person they've always felt like since, child, ch since childhood, you know. So these are some of the things. So if somebody says, I, I don't feel like a man, and you are making a bill to say, by force, you have to feel like a man. But truthfully, this thing that all attention is being given to. Yes. Eh? Mm -hmm. How? That's the, the Christian belief. But yes, um, I'm not Christian anymore, but I do believe that, I mean, like, Ghana is 90, uh, what, 97 percent or 98 percent religious. Yes, so the LGBT people are religious. They believe that God made them just the way there's nothing wrong with them. And all over the world, people, when they've educated the majority of the public, of the population in every country, and majority of these populations are heterosexual. In the beginning, America, Europe, they were all like, what is this, what is this, what is this? They even brought that law to us. We didn't have a law. Our ancestors were never homophobic. There's no part of Ghanaian history. We lived peacefully. With and for being so be say or pearl bow, it has never it's Muslim for no to say or moon, which is fine. Who are those practicing it? You get it, and well, so make the calculation if ah, why should I make over 90 percent of the population is religious? So if Christians are saying that. There are Christians who are hetero, uh, homosexual or, or part of the LGBT community. There are Muslims that are LGBT community. Because my, me, I'm a minority. Yo. Me, I'm just a 1% of the non-religious people. You keep people. saying you, we, we, are you part of them? No, I'm are saying humanists. Humanists uh -huh. are 1% of, of the Ghanaian population. Yeah, and also. And see, 99%, you know. I won't say majority carries the vote. No, but you see, that that is not necessarily true about a democracy. What is it? And our constitution is not a religious constitution. It's a secular constitution. Mm. It's not a Christian constitution. It's not a Muslim constitution. It's not a traditional worshipping constitution. It's a secular constitution. And in every secular state, there's a there's a separation of church and state. But in this country, we are still blending the two. There's also what we call the freedom of religion and belief. Like I said, I'm on a, a board member of an international organization like that. And it's made up of all kinds of religious leaders. And I'm one of the relig uh, non-religious leaders in the world. But these are religious leaders. I've met with the Archbishop of Canterbury. I've met, I've met with Muslim clerics, so many people all over the world. And yet they believe that as much as you have your freedom to your religion and your belief that's why you were saying that that's what christians and muslims in ghana feel they are perfectly fine you have the right to feel how you want to feel but your right to feel or believe in something should not overstep somebody's right to go to school to go and study 
go and um, get a job, to live freely, and whatever he wants to do in the privacy of his home with another consenting adult, how is that against your, why, why does it worry you that you're right to believe? You can believe anything you want to you believe. You think the youth that are practicing this, mm -hmm. they are doing it free, willingly, like you know, they, they, you know what consent. You know what I'm outraged about mm -hmm. when it comes to children mm -hmm. is the high cases of teenage pregnancy in this country. We don't, we overlook it. We are more concerned about consenting adults than we are about the number of men taking advantage of young women. The harassment that goes on, even for elderly women at the workplaces. And we see it happen every single day. How many children pedophiles are in this country? Mm. I've never seen a law, a bill against pedophilia. A child, but we are against consenting adults. For the youth that are um, experimenting or starting with homosexuality, the same happens with heterosexuality. So if we are going to delve with how children should react to their sexuality, a lot of education. Outside, we don't have teenage pregnancy as such. Mm -hmm. Because, not that they, they have it, but it's not to the um, level that we have it in Africa here, especially in Ghana. It's, it's, it's a shame. It's a disgrace. Why? Because they are educated on sex from childhood. And every age, they have the kind of education they will give to a four-year-old to a 10 year old, to a 15 year old, till you get to 18. So you understand what your private parts mean to you. And you have your agency so that nobody can come and take advantage of you. So that doesn't happen outside. But here we have absolutely no sex education. So what happens is that young people start to experiment any opportunity they get. And that is where it's a problem. We need to teach children abstinence, um, using contraceptives, what sex is, what can result from sex, why you shouldn't be having it at a young age, the pros and cons, everything about it. This is going on. A, a five-year-old child else, I can tell you everything about sex. Ghana here, we have adults who don't have any knowledge, including homosexuality, and this is the problem. Today you are here, give us this knowledge. Homosexuality, <laughs> when they do their intercourse, no, we, me, I'm coming. Oh, we hear they do it from the back. Is it true? Like I said, um, I'm not a homosexual man, so, so you don't. I know. don't know the details, but I take it that with any kind of sex, it's between two people. Why do we assume that every heterosexual couple is doing exactly what the other heterosexual couple is doing? I'm asking this question. No, because, because do you know what other, another heterosexual couple? Maybe they are also doing it in their mm -hmm. anus. The reason I'm asking this mm -hmm. is that me, my concern is the people who they are safety. Yes. Me, I'm not saying I am one of them, yes. but me, I'm, I'm me, an open-minded person, so yes. I'm not going to because obi and show, be no obi and maye, be so wo mini so. Okay. Just like people do these things in. Yeah. But why are you coming to tell me that I should I should give you uh, um, um, what I should legalize be, uh, you, what you are doing? Actually, nobody has asked for legalization. I don't know where that rumor it's, started. But you heard, it, you heard it, right? Of course, it's propaganda. Because if you ask, I'm, I, I've been on several um, television stations. And I always question these journalists. Where do you get it, the facts from? Or somebody just told you and you, are, you assume it's true. It's very sad because there's no evidence that any LGBT person because I was has saying gone that to ask for legalization in Ghana. In Ghana. They have a law. Yes. So I will be that way about taking care of my children. Yes. So now, Mintia said, "Don't you set another law aside? Because if some mm -hmm. a man and a woman do this outside, you will still arrest them anyway." Exactly. So why the the bill? That, that is my, but my question. But I want as well. to know. Maybe they love people. Yes. They don't want people's anus to be scattered. No, that's you what I'm saying. That, that they, they are say assuming their anus is broken, which is that. not true. A lot of it is more propaganda. They just take the negative, extreme aspects of something, and then they say, "Oh, that's what all LGBT people in the world do." It's absolutely false. When it comes to the spread of diseases, heterosexual spread diseases have the highest rates of sexual uh, HIV AIDS transmission in this country than anybody else. I mean, LGBT people are a small minority, one percent. It is say you have 20 million, okay, in country you have 30 million plus. Now say even 100, uh, 500,000 HIV. Percentage by homosexuals. 
We'll be some more cry. Even in the bill, they stated that they know that the, the figures don't match. Heterosexuals have it more. So then let's criminalize uh, heterosexuality then. No, that is not the answer to it. And see, the idea said, okay, omonia diseases. Okay, put that aside. We'll say uh, to me, paya and I to me. Even heterosexuals, so say, nyoma bebre, AC. What you say? People use sex toys. People experiment with different patterns. They might not be sexually compatible with. And then they go and try a uh, style. And vaginas mm -hmm. still get raptured. Oh, yes. Rapture to the fifth dimension. <laughs> 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 You're watching the biggest and the largest. Somebody was saying that you, Mami Grace, why do you like, you are pretending as if you are not. No, we care about Nipa Dasen. We care about souls. That is one. Again, you passing whatever doesn't stop the act. So if you feel it is not good, I'm saying that you don't prune it with scared, uh, 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 with, with, with fear. But you approach it if you really feel you don't want it. That's why I keep asking questions. So when I get through to someone who has in-depth knowledge about these things, I really want to know. But do you think they are doing this so that our boys and our young ones will run away? Now I heard everybody is running away. I'm a gay, looking for no, asylum, that's, that's looking for visa, true. looking another, for papers. Another fail, fake story, <laughs> fake news. Sir, um, yes, we are a fake news. Oh, yeah, yeah. We know a lot. I mean... If uh, people can remember from when we opened the advocacy of the office, um, a lot of times the international community, the diplomatic corps, they support the community as well because in their countries they know what, how far they have come when it comes to LGBT rights. And so when they see um, a, a, a minority that is being marginalized, that is being persecuted, and they want to come and help, even not with money or anything, but just to show their support, that look, um, Norway supports you, England supports you, um, name it, the most of Europe, America supports you. So if people were going to the embassy, I think we'll, we have those contacts, we will know. We haven't heard anybody going. I'm here, a lot of activists are around. Even their lives are more at risk sometimes than myself. And that's, that's why- activists did here. Yeah, um, so more more we are, some of us are privileged enough to be able to come out without any fear, but we also understand the fear that people have gone through because we'll be the tire show, because we'll be sure. And yeah, baby, and I also be feeling that way so to go, even though you want to fight for your life. Who your do we life. have to talk to in Ghana? Who do you want to send message to? Who has something to do about this? That peace will be here. Because we'll be time, we'll be to me, I'll be to you, I'll be to you, I'll be to you, I'll be to you. And to why partners say a same way here can you own tea now on your baby? Who it's do we send idea. a message to? Met me, I can say Ghana ni bia because, like I said, no bill, and yet LGBT phone one a best at your chicho moon because we'll be our time will be a bit near point. So now police are about fear. Now you are very ready. Ghana is one in police for you. You know, I am saying you're going to be a warrant say say I bet you're a moon or buy a bill or what. Obe remove the obey and obey ya arrest you anywhere or two counter back. Would that remand three years? I mean, it's happening to even um, serious crimes where innocent people are caught. Imagine, say, wait, dear, you ain't sure will be any more. Uncle Ria will be a young child, so when you'll be so da because the building can say, when you'll be dance, I bet you. Oh, be it, wouldn't Oh, and now that's the thing. There's a stereotype, say. Uh, gay for an anti say, a boy or not is naturally, but on your gay, on your gay, it be not to me worry. Oh, a woman way, can marry men day who day. are effeminate, but because they are heterosexual, they are not gays. Into who may she will be a bono because on anti is so bad. You have committed Parliament, a crime when they, they, mm -hmm. they pass a bill, are they beyond everybody? Nobody can take them on. No, that CCR no bill no is not law. Uh -huh. But your uh, parliament are passable, no. But I said president never sent it. So to answer your previous question, no. Say me will be back as a sister. You could form an IA pa a man penin show. Um, sorry, my tree is a bit bad. Oh, uh, but, bro, um, um, his excellency, his excellency, President Danaku Fadu. That and this is a man who um. A few years ago, I was even called on radio on, on those comments he made on Al Jazeera and Al Jazeera for Bistan. I said, Oh, no problem. No, so no any problem. But in the priority that time, the first term in power, no, because in your mother, be brave, eh, hi, sister, I'm doing so, do so, no, dear, but no, oh, why busy? 
in this and your money, your money, who you know, but a ban is say in Crawford, be fresh, say like they are being discriminated, they are, you know, they are going through a lot, so please pay attention. I bet, I bet you should, and I obey, I'm back on here, but then the outrage started more from there because this. That's when Four Money came up with his coalition. All of a sudden, Wako for me coalition. Ah, and then that coalition is the exact same name of the original title of the bill. Proper Human Sexual Rights and Ghanaian Family Value. The coalition, that was the name. Or the my. All of a sudden, so Wako team me up with American Evangelicals are far right for ya. They are against abortion. They are against women's rights. They are against, but omu a Christopher. But omu omu Christopher no a different, omu three Muslims cry. But that they are also anti-LGBT. And I'm going to go to the sponsor of the program, and I'm going to go to the conference. 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 And then I'm going to motivate the people to go to the conference. But the LGBT is not going to go to the conference. Because the right, right, right to the left, they are doing it. No, that's the thing. It's not an act. And even people are not, don't have to do anything. <sighs> Because this bill is criminalizing you, whether you do anything or you don't do anything. It's saying just identity. Send the message, Abusiya. Send the message. You need to be aware. I mean, come on, be on. Because I'm immigrant, you say, I'm going to go. But at the end of the day, no one can stop me. I will be there. You need to know that. I'm going to be able to be there. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. Send the message. Yeah, but can you say? So what's up with your Christian? Now we are Muslim. We won't. Yeah, that's you. But won't mean to say. We won't paint, you know, and say a film will be right. And at the Amitu Mekane say, um, young Ghana phone, you know, young kind bill, no. If uh, most of the time, a lot of people have not actually read clause by clause. So, a lot of the people who did read the bill and also started speaking up, it's not because they are pro LGBT as such, but because they realize, hey, wait, when you know, it's going to even affect just a oh, Ghana, you are, you are at risk. You are watching the biggest and the largest. Hey, now what you? Hey, Ghana for mum dear, your holiness in that school. Obi, this is a brochure. Yeah, transhumanism. Aha, okay. Yeah, body said you cry. Aye, your problem. Oh, sorry, guy. Aye, your problem. In this our holiness, I don't know how affected money you cause you cry. Well, there is just a question. Oh, nobody should come after me. Oh, just asking because the way we are holy. And the way we give sebi unnecessary things attention. They say, Mama and Crawford, I'm so I'm minority. I'm not very popular. I'm not vibrate was. Hey, you have a problem. Hmm. What is this uh, topic? What is the topic? Free thought as a tool to change development. Please take us through. Okay, so basically, free thought or free thinking is a philosophy that was adapted you know, hundreds of years ago. It's basically saying that you are living a life free from dogma the dogma or thinking free from dogma so it's okay to have certain beliefs but then when it comes to um, any situation you are able to think put that aside and think logically and objectively about the situation and assess the situation in such an objective and logical rational manner that you're able to come to a, the best logical conclusion to deal with whatever situation it is <laughs> It has nothing to do with intelligence as much as it has to do with the way we choose to think about things. The way and the kind of thoughts we want, a uh, process we go through to arrive to certain conclusions. Explain. So, remember my example be able to say, okay, um, you know, okay, Obi an imso en kofo ye wo wa e school. Wo bi sa gana ni bi asa ade na wo school. You be surprised a lot of people don't even have any logical explanation. Obi e kwa wan ko school kwa e be yawo. Eh on be de be di wa ko to rofo. Ye nyina me so sa I mean e do be bi a me me dwen ho. Let me see what is the logical reason why we have to attend school. It is sometimes you know in your be bre yen we don't even realize it because a lot of our behavior is more learned and passed down from generation to generation. And mm. a lot of it too is uh yes yes gonna for yes pay yes yes and uh, and I, I I believe that that is a part of our culture that is beautiful in the past because now your population now does. 
um se ocha uh, se ocha me na obi be ba be ma gon gon no na wa ma se wan tin kra he wada fo bia na we bu se ni be ba be ka che so it na yes 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 and i believe that is where it stems from i'm not um a historian a professional historian but i believe say looking at a culture no sana ye de any to this extent ah diabetes bia we we tend to believe it because that's how we were raised but a memory in the 21st century, you know, it's very, very difficult to ascertain between good news uh, or let me say real news and fake news. It's one year, or be a bad dad And sometimes, you know, so whatever is passed on from generation to generation, it's not necessarily a good thing. So we have to learn to come out of sad yena. We are called, I say, a child is to be seen and not heard. And see, we will say, a colacra pe e wo bibi ka ye be ka ye be ka che son kana no ntum or we just shut him or her up that onye din because it's seen as disrespectful say openi wo ho na obe obe kasasa so we always tend to silence children or younger people but now we've realized say it's not the best way to train a child because what you do is a child cannot even learn to express themselves and then they grow up to be the adults i am everybody is and not everybody i mean majority of us would be used to either being silenced and timid when it comes to learning to express yourself or would even know the best way to express yourself and that can be detrimental in how you think mm. so Setting and a reality, ha, not fair, dear. Oh, who do you want? No, 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 run in a brothel. So, I a book, a year, but a book smart, but a bar real life situation. So, how do you apply the practical aspects of what you've learned? Because reading a book and that's literacy, but education is when you're able to learn to critically think and assess a situation and know the best approach to on how to deal with it. You are watching the biggest Ebusia eh bro for the grammar no eh video the same I am am mo be share alphabet where it comes from the energies and the vibrations that comes with it and the damage it is causing that you feel say una aka bro for amanti obi on to bro for ni nyan say ni ni trim like like o male you are watching the biggest me hwe ni ni egu won o mama when they say numbers when they say alphabet when they say grammar the meaning I'll give it to you. So I have a video, no. So I'm going to share. So I remember more very soon. You are watching the biggest. So see, I know what can be beer, what be can be a. And the idea being pan, the yet yet thought, I am a young to me grow. What you say? Five things are amaga na yet statica. Anka yet to yet boa se boko. And I yet thinking about it critically and I feel ya. And I yet you having kakratu unchaini. Moja bini adi adi a anka yebe to me akoye ni five things ma yesa adi we na watre yense sanke to me ma yebi mu na yese yese anka yeko da 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 da. Okay, so when it comes to development, you know, your car, your infrastructure, and and that can stem from even different systems or sectors, education, healthcare, um, uh, so uh, how do you call it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's roads now, nah, they are there. The civil construction now, nah, they are there. To engineering now, nah, they are there. I'll put that one in a different um, category. Um, about your social life and so and how we deal with things. So I think I mentioned a little bit about social lives when it comes to how we treat children, and but also it affects us because um, say yeah, yeah. The baby at home, China. We all collectively put together um, our ideas, ah. Uh, Ebeboa than only sanctioning, you know, silencing um, uh, some parts of our population. Now, for many years, we can agree that women didn't have as much rights as we have today. Now, a baby woha, yeah, can penifua sema. Women were in the kitchen. Ha. So these are some of the things that have made us slow down. Because if we had involved women and men sitting at the table and having a say and everybody brainstorming and even having up to our leadership, I hope so one day Ghana Betimia consider say say skirt and blouse or say there's a president and a vice betimia or ba back on them a back. Oh say yeah yeah yes a bit back. That's a flag there. We need less you could win your nakasa or bad president or bad vice. When you ban a change you say 
<laughs> yes, I mean, if you go to a lot of countries now, one of the uh, biggest economies in the world is Germany. And that was run by a woman for how many years? Bema bebre e baye before her. That or not some country, no, that time now among this to that extent. But I do baby or manga who said no, a big mistake, no. Or baba power no. It catapulted the economy of the of the of the country. So that's one of many examples of women taking leadership in certain places. Oh, I feel say yes, say it started from some. Hey, but on a more serious note, you know, mommy we are way. A ye a ye a na na o ye liter. Who said no? No, so was doing things for women. Oh. Yes. Where is she? People <laughs> find her for me. I want to ask her questions. I've not been seeing her. Yes. Uh, she's one person, and then you are more na a bit Thomas Sumpa. But me who no be into most social media. Actually, she's also an inspiration to me because oh, even really? though or your Christoni, but yeah, yeah, your first conference 2012, no, na your pese obet treachery, your mono epini, and that was even before yeah, the minister for gender, ne, we, and she was even as a Christian and a lawyer, no, no, to me yeah, a lot of pro bono. She was one of the first people who are now in him say obwa LGBT four, and the oba obet my very good insight into why even though she's Christian, no. Or to me, taking her Bible, but the Bible is an inspiration to her to help people who need help. And how she was able to do that to affect for women's rights, children's rights, and LGBT rights. And see, yeah, I don't know where she is, but it would be good People to find know. her for me. <laughs> uh, find her for me. Uh, when great people, uh, truthfully, your first no one can mount to me upon us as it. And I make a yes, you know, I'm not going to do that. Came to change yes. that thing. Uh, Berlin conference, no, uh, now we're doing that. I say, who to me see that she said, Obama, Obama, and can die and buy. See, now women are uh, you are more no great properties, exactly. And so, first, no, I'm not going to do that. We love you and we appreciate you. We send you love. Please find her too for me. Yes. Uh, no, yeah, yeah. Women's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Women's we are month. watching the biggest and the largest. Please continue from where I stopped you. Yes. Uh, okay. So I've spoken a bit about the social aspects of it. There's more if I have to deal with that. But I will move on to, let's say, education. Um, so for education, no, um, I think, say, in my opinion, no, a lot of times our educational system is just geared on two poor pass and forget. And then churning out graduates are uh, in book ni mo. But like I said earlier, no. to be, yeah. and yeah, and hey, even cry who intends be to me by officer. As I did get to back, Ubeka Sasa and Sawatia say this is the best way to deal with it. Because also maybe from childhood, you know, on yeah used to having to think on their own. Or more per se, oh my instructions, no, I mean yeah. To say send your teacher here with school, make a A and work a A, make a B and work a B. And to know you need with that, ah, now for the critical thinking um, faculties, you know, are you very poor? But and also taking long time. And to go approach him by the brea, ah, yeah, and yet some more you're smarter than us, so never, never. We are as intelligent, if not even more intelligent, say almost. But yes, system now. Nah, whether culturally, religiously, or whatever, no, socially, no, ah, we stagnate or we, we, we stifle a, a majority of our population so that even from childhood, no, you don't learn how to think. Oh, no, all these things. So, how uh, yes. are uh, there not young sinking women? That's, that's a very good question. Uh -huh. I think, sir, um, Saturday time, and also, so, Abraf also went through. A process, but that was 400 something years, 500 years ago. They went through even stages where we call the Renaissance period. So what's that? Mm -hmm. And I think I'm not I'm not a, a, an expert in that field, but I think that was a period where enlightenment by yeah and coffee be said, I 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 I said, Mathematics, where calculations be by, yeah. Or to me a plane, or to me a car, or to me a say, or to me. And see, it's just you putting your mind on how do I think critically about things. You will start progressing mm. at a very God advanced have rate because our intelligence in the year war, dada, a bad booker, gonna fly in your mob all over the world. Hey. But how many? How many have done now, it? Yeah, Kasapo, we don't show our people off. We don't create our heroes. That's also another thing. I will, will eat them up rather <laughs> instead of... 
But even Wosha, mm -hmm. I see say a lot of times to cry, or more and make something out of themselves. Yekano cry, we see that majority of them were brought up in a developed country where they were given those opportunities. So if we don't create those opportunities for us, Obi Abra Washa Obano to grow, no. After the Oba Beji glory, no. That's also yes, another I mean, thing. That's my personal so opinion. A lot of a lot of so, blacks are running for for this uh, 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 Western world. They are running for them. They have those who are competing a whole lot for exactly. them. The, mostly normally are blacks, but almost we had any here. Box are running. Talent, you know. Only for you know. Talent, 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 investing in our people we are not teaching our people how the correct way to think about things to think free from dogma and all that there's nothing wrong with religious belief as long as it inspires you to be a good person it it comforts you when um you, you are, are down emotional. or you've lost a loved one i don't have a problem with religion at all it becomes a problem if people yeah, what pastors be braces, yeah. Oh, make a can say my shower soon. Oh, mommy, a bay for way, way, you know, that kind of thing. Oh, that thing they say it has it. stopped. Is it this hasn't. Yes, oh, I have century. actually, yes, we humanists have done years of work and even broken records that has never um, been this by we don't we don't brag about it, but it's actually something we would like other people to know so that they can also help do in their own way. Well, what, about witchcraft accusation, a serious women's rights issue. It was not in Ghana. I war witch camps. Mm. Holding, even the, the smallest one has 200 alleged witches. Oh. So, in the 21st century, we are still thinking from that. Yes. So, and it's unfortunate because these are elderly people Come pass on their way. Your advice if you are yeah, too omegu. A boo or cry, you come on. So they have to flee to these witch camps for their life because any more PFU which gave a come So that's why they are in the witch camps. But also, no, as much as the witch camp protects them, no, a also a place that a moon fill like they lose their family, they lose their property, they lose their, I mean. Their se sense of self worth. Oh, a cut off. A Diani Pape Bia Niho, like healthcare Bia Bia Niho. It was up to Yen Humanists, you know. Time I'm a World Humanist Association of Ghana, any American Humanist be. And I hear Omukot now, a brofo, Omumba Africa, the Omukot Sunya Dagbani. And in Crawfona, a war area, Hono, Omni, a alleged which is it's nigh. A shore, Mo, Omue Diani D. Doctors, oh, that be yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't believe in that. It's and also another thing. I mean, and a real crowd of movie hotel Rwanda, the movie about genocide, mm -hmm. and these are some of the dogmatic things that we are talking about. So, be a be catch or say a population of your country, no, or more when you can see a now or what now say, 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 and see or you know, and to come no, not a binum effa match it, cutlass, a to char or moon, you know, because of. Adrenal. Mm. That is what I'm seeing replaying when it comes to, excuse me, say, this uh, LG, uh, anti LGBT bill. So, as you see, it's making young Ghanaians that were living peacefully. All of a sudden, everybody's looking at each, each, each other to two, two be say, one, one, two, two be say, hey, oh, who you be an now, who you be an You know? And this is the beginning of uh, it, genocide to me, see what Rwanda, but to me, see what Ghana. And so, these are some of the things. How is that going to develop us as a nation? What you are saying? Our healthcare. Yeah, what doctors be brave. Unfortunately, some of them, you know, or who can cry now, can say be brave. Or better still, say who fear be be near. Yeah, we need to Doctors. Oh yes. Oh, they, 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 they hate those things. Oh. oh, a lot of them are doing it. That is why some of them, and that is not because they actually believe it. I believe, say, some of them either don't have the medicine or the they don't understand the condition. Patch your eye. And whilst in Abrochino, who your doctor no want to say, what to me, Fred, who doctor, who doctor, and your uncle say, ah, I did way back, be a skin, way be a good one, yeah, yeah, and co, and I be busy. The first thought is not, go home, pastor, and I say, oh, mommy, and I, oh, no, I've been a year, and I'll be busy. So we do have it. A lot of times, doctors, yeah, we have a lot of times, and Crawford have been thrown out of the hospital, or the family has been advised by before, we need panic on a spiritual diseases. So, 
there's nothing wrong with having spiritual beliefs, but when it goes against somebody's right to health care now, then it becomes worrisome. How is that developing our country? How is that developing our people? And see, I don't know. Uh, examples, Nidia, Bebre Wohonum, ah. Mr. T and I mean to me. I say you will tell me there may be coming. Uh give us more. Um okay, so I talk about roads and infrastructure, uh engineering and so on. See when we say that be or what? Now say uh how many years ago it is a Malcolm building I collapse? Um how many times and it is a nipa evu from as car accidents will crumble her? What are we doing about it? All these people have died and even my mom died from a car accident on the Temamoto way. And he mean, I don't drive on the Temamoto way because it kind of gives me some trauma. trauma. Yes, I was four years old and when she died. Mm, yes, from sorry. a car accident. And the sad thing is that since she died in 1988, I've seen The road is still the same. Kind, how many deaths have happened? Unfortunate. Mm, it's the same. Yeah, yeah, it's mean kind. It's, it's, it's so, so bad. And can you imagine what those people would have contributed to our development as a country? Instead of us fixing their roles and being more this thing, um, um, hard on bad drivers, alcohol, breathalyzers, anyway, I brought your money and said, look, Nipa dear, will always try to find a way to do a bear bunny. So they have police in every corner. They have cameras. Ah, cameras. Who is scary than police? Who of you? Let our bro say, we try red lights, moon, you know, who the car? Things like that. Oh, who of you? Who be for so young women? Young women. There are a lot of places who are police. You are right. And me, ma, me, na se ya na mita tse mi tu kwa in kamin who say, e krobi wo kwa etisa. So you don't see police standing there stopping this, stopping that. No, 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 no. But even if we want to um, give more jobs to um, Ghanaians in TSA. We want more police personnel. Then let's do it the right way. Because mm. we are police in but something will be driving anyhow. And on to me, pedestrians the and loss, the loss. Now, you know what we can do, do about it. On the pedestrian. Like, we feel say we are getting away with it. But there are foreigners in this country. Other Africans, other it doesn't it doesn't look like we are intelligent people even though we are it doesn't mm. look like because you know say a has say a baby and crop food chum see who banner we don't care about so you see so okay when i can say how is it helping the development if we can just put aside oh we are used to doing it for yeah and get away with it so i don't care that's what you know, this dogmatic idea of oh, and I will be I can't We don't think critically about how is it going to help us as a nation, as a mm. people. How does it help you? Wow, and see, yeah, several things are engineering and make us a Malcolm Dying collapse. If we had proper engineering, we have and we do have very good engineers. Yeah, well, a whole association of engineers now, the institution for engineers. Why should such a thing happen? Now, Dino, we see a dire assassin, a what or no, a dino assassin, and so no, we see Dino see war also. Now, that I know, Chester, I don't know. Yay! A kunkun, that morning, Miss Sotivia, me who it was so sad. We still have buildings that are uncompleted, they see why. A general hot tin tin, who call a body road that way, see way, way, see what tin 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 way is. Even going to be a hazard because one day night decided to get a home pointed the air go straight to the president. Meridian. Shred the down way, I see one a down way, Yami and Boom. I say it is in a me. Yami by way, my bed, and one drink your arm boo and few. I didn't see one yet. A bacuni pie a dead trap, no ni patim. Same way. Your last words, why? Your last words and your social media, because you're back, you're very emotional. Because sometimes <laughs> you don't know. Yes. You don't know. Yes. I saw the dining to a mobile pie. A nimna gata da ho can 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 who ko can we be for but your last words why? So um mm. I would like to tell my fellow Ghanaians that um, we should learn to think critically about things. Say Bibi Biano, Yen Jane Hawa, a be boy as a people. Yen share send your be boy as as a person. We boost your four immediate 
community na dia de e say na o suban ana dia o be ye bia na dia o de wa dwen beto so se wo pese wo ye na wo pese wo ka no e say na boa o man no ana e boa wo hu na ye dwen sana we would really develop very very quickly we would be one of the biggest nations to um, to be able to overcome pro poverty and also rise above and become one of the biggest ec economies in Africa. We are already halfway there. We just need to individually think about those things, you know. Nyoma ebe ebe stop us from s dividing us as a people. E nyoma ebe ma ye mua tete or how do you call it? Ye nte ma tete no. That is not the best thing we should do. It's ye enjoy mu. Dia obibia kan wo TV sunu radio so question it. And, and try my journalists, go journalists ground, some of them come on him how to question. Question whatever you hear. Ben can say, oh, yes, say. I see my say, because sometimes you'll be surprised, say, yeah, even Omoa, you, you pain in phobia, you think, say, Omo, eh, one answer, no, excuse me to say. In Sambia, Omo, can be what either say, yeah, no, correct. And answer on yell, even knowledgeable about your canoe. And see, what's here? And now, who be doing internet? So, and now, what is so big? Can be here. Jane, now we are going your own research. Now be sebi sebi. Say a yes saying, a yes saying. And now, as me see to me, can say no. Now trying to be my good explanation, logical explanation, and make it sense to why a way ye way answer what jiatu. And I feel say I don't ever buy yen yen. Um. Lastly, to again to our president, say Bill no. Yen him say he is a very learned person, or your human rights lawyer, or your bia. He should take his time, consider and go through the bill clause by clause, listen to the voice of the Ghanaian people. Where does what they are saying come from reason, come from human rights, come from love? And he, he should make his decision on it. And I hope that he doesn't, he comes to the same conclusion. Most of us have come to the conclusion that he should not assent to the bill. Thank you. Yo, your social media handle, in case people um, would want to. Yes, I'm on to. X, formerly mm -hmm. Twitter, uh, Rosy Rules, mm -hmm. R-O-Z-Z-Y-R-U-L-Z. -Z um, Accra Atheist has a Facebook page. Um, our meetings are not open to only atheists. It's open to the general public for us to question everything we want to question in life. Because even as atheists, a lot of us were also brought up culturally and religiously. But how do we discern whether what we are thinking about is still under the influence of religion and culture or is it based on reason and critical thinking so we have our meetings uh, based on that and we would invite anybody at all to come let's nobody let's coming. share ideas <laughs> <laughs> yes and so that when you also invite me to ask your for, church i will be also <laughs> we have to question as for questions in India, we have to question a lot of things yeah. From the higher level to the lowest level, I mean, we have to question if we really want to liberate ourselves. Yes, it's not about weapons, it's not about pettiness, it's not about hatred, no. it's not about jealousy, it's all about knowledge, and knowledge comes out of questioning. Yes. So, I know, dear, we have to ask questions. Um, I told you, sir, Santo Domingo's Mexico. They are small country, they are poor people. I'm not saying they don't have food to eat. But the consciousness level. Ya culture will say, Nipa na one take care of you. Move five na mo take care of your family. BBC, a basic move five on you na so. And to protect you, na we soon protect you. So when we sit in the studio like this, we belong to each other. You are my brother, you are my sister. Obiya ni wa no ma. Or yet poor, or yet rich, Ube na young girl, ni young boy, almost just some loose t shirts. They are they have their children, they are going together. Yanim ni pakra yewe. We have a bigger problem with the brain. Ask questions, okay? And regain your consciousness. So you are whenever you are making any decision, you think about me and think about this one. Think about soul, so you are able to make great decisions. My sister, thank you so much for coming. Thank I do you. appreciate you, okay? I do. Bank of so catch one. One and so abasama war attractive. Oh post it as me. Thank you so much for watching the biggest and the largest. I'm always your adorable host. Oh my yenye you. I hired the bestest place. There is no place like home. Shalom. Peace.